Okay, what is this ampersand doing? Let me first ask you a question. We have A1 January and we have equals month A1 and one. Uh, if you know what the answer to this is, it's pretty interesting and uh, it doesn't have to do with the ampersand, but before I get to the answer, I want to explain a little bit of what ampersand usually is and why this is so confusing because this is so confusing, right? This is saying month A1, which is January, ampersand one. So we're just taking number one and we're adding it essentially concatenating it, right? This is the normal use of ampersand, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, the normal use of ampersand is using concatenate or concat actually, just combining two things. Uh, we use it for text a lot and I'll show you here. This is, a, this, again, this, this is the normal use of ampersand, but I wanna get to why this is so interesting and it has more to do with how Google Sheets ha deals with dates and stuff and not really the ampersand. The ampersand is sort of um, a red herring here, let's say. But let's say we have names like Andrew and uh, Humphrey, Humphrey, if that's the last name, and Bill and Gates, right? And we're using here this, uh, we're combining a full name with this ampersand, but we're getting sort of the two texts together without a space, right? And so if we ever wanna use an ampersand in this particular use case, we're going to have to add a space here and another ampersand uh, because we want a full name. But maybe we are actually combining uh, the full name into one text, maybe for an email purpose to create an email address. I wanna show you another version of this, not using ampersand, but using equals concat. Uh, we're gonna take the help off. And here, it's even helping me, A5, B5, hit enter, and it is doing the exact same thing as that ampersand, but it's using a lot more characters, right? Concat, concat is just pushing together two things. We could also do, let's say we have numbers here, and we're like, hey, we have the, um, a digit, first, dig maybe it's uh, f first digit, 54, last digit, 99, and the next one is like 55 and 99. And we're like, hey, we actually wanna combine these. This is great for like IDs or something and you need sort of like the same number. It has to start with like, a, for instance, Stripe uh, customer IDs always start with CUS. And so we have the ampersand, we can do a eight ampersand B8 and see we are concatting uh, these two numbers. But maybe we want to add uh, the same thing instead of first and last, what if the first is always customer? Uh, see, we have our concat or our ampersand is putting that together. So when we're doing dates, let's go back to our original question of what is this ampersand doing in this month calculation and, and why does it actually get an output? Um, because let's look at what January looks like if we just use January. So the same thing here we've set up equals month A11 and B11. So we have exactly the same thing, January and eight here. So maybe this is a clue for you, but we're wrapping month around this and saying, essentially this is, you can even look at what this is, right? Let's just see, you can see it. We'll call this input. And this is gonna be equals this and this. And so we have these. These are the inputs to this value here. Um, the first one is month, and so we're putting January 8 into month. And the, and the key here is that if we just put January, we're gonna get a value uh, error. So it says function month parameter one, parameter one expects number values, but January is a text and cannot be coerced to a number. Okay, this gives us a little clue. And it's saying essentially January alone, just the text January is a text. But it doesn't have the same error when we add the one or an eight here. So what is going on? Jan what is January 8th versus January? Well, January 8th, Google Sheets is seeing that as a date. That thing, they think the sheet thinks that January 8th is actually January 8th and it's going to coerce it into a date. The same thing, this is, this is sort of my uh, funny joke about Excel and Google Sheets, is if you put in half or one slash two, the actual, um, it's gonna think it is a date. It's gonna think it is January 2nd, or for those who are um, 
not in the US, right? If we do 2-1, uh, it thinks it's February. This actually is January 2nd, right? Um, it thinks it's February 2024, right? And so it's trying to guess based on your uh, text in here what that is, and it's going to guess it as a date. Uh, so what if in, we have some plain text here, we do January 1. And we look at that. That now considers it a date. That's January 1st. And so the same thing can be done for month. The same thing can be done with value. So you have value of just January is going to be an error, but value of January and with the ampersand 8 is going to be 45299, which is the uh, representation, uh, the, the, the numerical representation of January 8th, 2024. We're in... 45,299 days since, I think, uh, January 1st, 1979, or something like that. Um, I think that's the case. So this is really, really cool, because um, I have discovered from this a really great use case for this. This is unbelievable. Um, many times when I'm doing months, dealing with months and uh, charts and stuff inside of Google Sheets, uh, and somebody enters January, well, that's a bad, January or March, and I wanted to sort of work with these number, uh, work with these as numbers, or these, these months. Uh, this is one, March is three, right? These are the numbers of the months, one through 12. If I, usually what I do is I will create a little uh, VLOOKUP chart, and I will just create a new sheet, I will call it uh, month, something like that, something easy. I'll write January, and I will get all of the, all 12 of these. We go one, and then I can double click there. Oh, right, that's not correct. We go one, two, uh, let's see if that, that does it. Now we got, it. okay, so I will create a VLOOKUP chart essentially, and now anywhere where I want to create uh, I want to take January and I want to convert it into a number, which is one. I will go V lookup. V lookup. Search key is going to be this A21. Our range is going to be month. We know it already off the top of our heads. Um, sorry. <laughs> month, exclamation point, A, B. Our index is going to be two because we're looking in the first column for the second uh, thing. We want to do is sorted. We can do true, actually, I always do false. Always do false. <laughs> I don't know why it was coming up with four. Um, but false. Now, if I change this to March, May, right? Now our number is coming up uh, correct, right? But the cool thing is that we just discovered, right, with this ampersand, that essentially, can we get the exact same answer without doing the VLOOKUP? So we'll do month. This and one. That gets us the exact same answer, January, without the VLOOKUP chart, right? These v, this VLOOKUP chart, which I have been doing for many years, a little VLOOKUP chart, great, is now all in one single uh, formula here with this month and just adding one. We can also add two. The, I think the only thing we can't add is like 31 because some, uh, let's do February, yeah, we're gonna get an error there, right? So we can just do one, because every month has a first, every month has a second, third, fourth, right? And we're gonna get the exact same answer. And that's really cool. I think it's a really fun um, thing that it, sort of I just discovered, right? But by looking at this strange implementation of using this ampersand, uh, we have now seen a really cool use case of this to change uh, month into a, date, uh, a data point. All right, I hope this was as, as exhilarating for you as it was for me.